Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna do a care video on Crusty Geckos, which is this little guy right here. Um, this guy's a baby. I just got him about three months ago, I want to say. Um, he's still really small. There is in comparison to my hand. Um, but Crusty Geckos are pretty. Uh, cool little gecko. Um, they're boreal. Um, they're pretty easy to care for. They're kind of like the boreal equivalent of a leopard gecko in their care requirements. Or uh, not their care requirements, in their ease of care. Oh, hold on. Get back here. But, um, they're pretty, <clears throat> they're pretty easy to care for. But, um, and they have about the same lifespan as a leopard gecko about like 10 to 20 years usually um just like leopard geckos you don't want to grab these guys by the tail because they'll drop their tail um they'll still be fine they'll still live like it won't kill them but they their tail's prehensile so they use it actually to climb sometimes so it's better if they don't lose their tail um for these guys usually room temperature is uh fine they do best at temperature from 72 to 80 degrees and uh, a humidity of around 60 to 80 um, percent. Babies like this you can keep in, what I keep mine in right now is a little critter keeper or you can keep them in like a 10 gallon tank. Um, you don't want to keep them in too big of a tank because when they're babies it'll be harder for them to find food in such a big tank and you don't want your baby to starve to death because it can't find food. Um, so I keep mine right now in this little critter keeper. I just have paper towels and substrate just because it's easier to clean out. Um, I just have two fake plants in there and uh, I don't have any heat on them. I just keep them at room temperature and um, oops and I spray. Uh, I spray them about every day or every two days depending um these guys eat insects and fruit kind of like a day gecko so you can feed them crickets and then baby food or you should generally feed them crested gecko diet that's better more nutritional uh than baby food Whoa, get back here more nutritional than baby food but um I just feed mine about five or six small crickets, either every day or every other day, depending on if he eats it. Um, I haven't never seen him eat baby food or crusty gecko diet, but I still offer it to him every now and then. Um, I know a lot of people have you can have the, uh, their crusty geckos completely off insects altogether and just feed them crusty gecko diet because it has all the uh, nutritional requirements they need. But I personally like to uh, give them a balanced diet and feed them uh, everything, a mixture. Um, as I said, you can, when they're babies, you can keep them in a 10 gallon or a curry keeper or something like this. But um, when they get to be adults, you want to keep one adult in a uh, 20 gallon tall aquarium. And you can keep a trio in a 29 gallon um like many other reptiles you can't have two males together they'll fight but um yeah that's oh get back here this guy's pretty they tame down really easily too kind of like leopard geckos but since this guy's still a baby still pretty jumpy but he's not bad he just likes to jump off my hand but um when they get to be adults, you really, really tame them down, and they'll just chill out on your hand or whatever. But um, yeah, like I said, they're pretty easy to care for. Pretty good beginner uh, gecko. Um, but yeah, when you set up there, uh, I have a screen cage for whatever him, him or her. I don't know the sex yet because he's too young. But uh, I have a screen cage for him at home. It's uh, four feet tall by two feet wide, 
I think, by two feet. I think it's two feet by two feet by four feet. I'm not positive about the check, but it's screen cage. Um, and like for the substrate, I just have Eco Earth. You can use that. You can use paper towels, uh, reptile bark. Just don't use like sand or anything like that. They're tropical species. Um, and you really don't want to use anything to get impacted on. So, I mean, you can use reptile bark, but I don't like using it just because it's so big. And they could choke on it if they get in their mouth. Um, and you can put live plants in their tank or fake plants. I'm going to do live. Um, but, I mean, that's about it for them. They're pretty, pretty cool little gecko. And uh, relatively easy to care for. Just make sure you don't get two males together. Oh. And they're pretty easy to breed as well. But they tame down a lot and they're really a good beginner gecko to have, especially if you want something you can handle. But between these and leopard geckos, they're probably the best geckos for handling specifically. So they are uh, a very interesting little gecko. I would definitely recommend uh, getting them because they are pretty interesting to watch for a beginner species. So, yep, let me know if you have any questions.